I'm not particular about a lot of things in the world, but one thing that I am very particular about is my notebooks. My favorite notebook that I've ever had is the Midori Traveler's Notebook. It's like 60 bucks, which is kind of hard to justify, but it's a beautiful leather bound book with replaceable pages in it. It's just, you know, it's really nice. The 60 bucks is expensive though, especially for a notebook. So I'm very happy to find that I went on Amazon and found a bootleg version of it. It's not the best, but I mean, it works. Out of morality, I'm not sure if I can 100% recommend and endorse getting a bootleg, but for eight bucks, we need a notebook. Do what you gotta do, you know? Today is also my first day back, or my first morning back in New York City, and I cannot express it in words just how great it feels to be back here. It's like, I feel complete whenever I'm home in New York City. Earlier I went on a little walk outside and it really just felt great to be walking around in New York again. I tried to film this whole sequence outside but the wind was a little bit So it's just looking like it's gonna be an inside filming day which is kind of fine with me because I have a lot of stuff to get done and it eliminates the whole distraction of being outside filming. To fit in with the theme of the bootleg notebook that I showed you this morning, I want to show you something else that is a bootleg item, and it is this right here. So this is the camera that I used to film all my videos with. It is the Sony A6500. I like it, it's a good camera, but as you can see there's no camera strap on it, and that's because camera straps are the bane of my existence. A lot of people will take these and these little bendy boys here, put on the bottom of the camera and use that, sort of like a selfie stick and also has a tripod, but I don't do any of that. I just carry on my camera like this. I gotta set it down somewhere. I just set it down on it and that's my tripod. What this little thing is here is a bootleg of the Peak Design camera capture clip, I think it's called. And that's exactly what it is. It's a capture clip for your camera. The one side of the plate here, you can screw into the bottom of your camera. The other part of this, unscrews and then you can open up and then you can hook this on somewhere like your backpack strap or your belt so you have somewhere to hook your camera into to hold it like a holster why am i even showing you this thing is it like a notebook that i'm kind of recommending for a cheap bootleg no this thing's garbage don't recommend it at all this is kind of a psa i'd much rather just hold my camera as it is gonna risk dropping it or get a strap and deal with that than use this don't do not get these It's a few hours later, I've been answering emails, but I forgot what day of the week it is and I'm now getting all packed up and getting out of here because today's magic day. But he, but uh, you don't. You can block two. They don't have trample. Oh, they do have trample. They do they have trample. trample. They have double trample and double vigilance. Mm -hmm. Hilarious! All right. This is this isn't vigilance. That well, in that case, well, vigilance from that. From, from that is, but we're not from I meant this. this. Oh, yeah. That, that, the that's tokens just are in that case. Vigilance. Congratulations. <laughs> Nice job, Alex. Yes, I appreciate that Bella was not here to see me at my lowest again. I'm trying to find a lighter to light this here candle. So when I do some cooking, it looks a little more cozy in here. Cannot find it, but I have an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck this up as one of my sketchier ideas. So I will give it a big do not try this at home, but I mean, if it works, it works, right? It's 
So let me walk you through how this movement is gonna go. We take the piece of paper, we shove it into the toaster, catch it on fire, and then you run around, don't set the camera on fire, light the candle, and then throw it into the sink. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Ah. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 100%. Not my brightest idea in the entire world, but it's working. It's lit. So I'm gonna call it a win, but maybe don't do that. Actually, definitely, definitely do not do that. In order to keep the theme with today's random bootleg sh that I like to keep around or purchase, tonight's cooking will be a bootleg bolognese. There's only three ingredients to a bootleg bolognese that you need, and the first one's easy, it's just some pasta. Second one is going to be some sauce. This is sauce that I made like probably too long ago, but it's been in the freezer. I defrosted it, it's probably fine. And last but not least, we will be using some severely freezer burnt meatballs, but I think they'll be fine. First step is easy, and that is to just boil the pasta. This part might take a little while. Probably helps to even actual stove, but it'll still work, and that's why I call it a bootleg bolognese. There's some sort of safety issue with this thing where if it's on for too long, it shuts off. So you have to just switch which burner's on. Ow, 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 ow. Step number two is of course making our, ow making our sauce, and that will be using our frozen meatballs. Uh, first thing to do is just take a couple of these, put them in a bowl, and microwave them. They're not essentially that hot right now, but that's okay because the microwaving was really just to defrost them. Now they get chopped up, and for that, it's a very delicate operation, so you want to make sure you use, you know, a small knife just to make sure it all works out okay. This is the same way I would make a regular bolognese, but the only reason I use these frozen meatballs is that it's so much easier to keep them on hand and not have to worry about getting a bunch of ground beef or pork or something having to use it right away. So this ground beef or ground beef meatball will just go into the bowl and then we'll take that sauce that I made however long ago and just mix a bunch in. I'll give this a little stir. I don't think it really matters, but I don't know. It's something I always do. And finally, this will go back in the microwave for, 
I don't know, 30 seconds or so just to heat it all up again. The sauce will get mixed in with the pasta we cooked earlier. And just like that, we have our bootleg bolognese here, plus a nice view to eat it from. Mm -hmm.